Is online day trading quote unquote pure gambling? That's what I wanna talk about in this video and I'll show you some of my results to help bring some context to this. And this entire video is coming from the fact that there's a couple of comments on my live trade videos on YouTube. So if you're not familiar, I do offer a playlist where I show myself trading live. And then I saw a couple of these comments. So the first one, your trading style is pure gambling. And there was two people that said, yeah, it is. Here's another one. That's pure gambling yelling at me, two exclamation points. And then there was four people that gave that a thumbs up. So you can see here that there are people out there that apparently think, you know, online day trading is pure gambling, or at least I think that I am just doing pure gambling. Now, to be fair to them, I can understand how that could be the case because my live trade videos that I'm referring to, I'm not going into all the nooks and crannies of why I'm doing this, why I'm doing that. So I can see how it maybe comes across as pure gambling for those people. So in that sense, I just wanna show those people that, I mean, it's not pure gambling. I'm just not disclosing every little nook and cranny of the strategy that you're watching. And then the other people are maybe, you know, like I think we've all come across it at some point, is, oh, you're a day trader. Oh, didn't you know that's gambling? Oh, you trade stocks. Oh, you trade crypto. Oh, you trade you trade option. Con Didn't you know that stuff is just gambling? Maybe you've come across somebody, I know I have, and there's kind of this mystique out there. And I can understand why people think that, the way it's portrayed in Hollywood and so on. But those are kind of the two camps of people that very well are saying, hey, th this is pure gambling. Now, what is pure gambling? A gamble is something where you have no edge. There's nothing in your favor. At best, it's 50-50 meaning a coin flip, right? That's gambling in the sense of, you know, you, you there's nothing you can do about it, but it's not total gambling because it's actually still at least a 50-50 chance. Whereas if there's something against you, so let's say you have a 48% chance, well, then now that's just completely, that's really bad gambling actually because now the odds are against you. But let's just take it at face value and let's say that, you know what? If this is true, if trading is again, quote unquote, pure gambling, then at best, over extended period of data points, I should be right around 50%, right? A coin flip. If it's just pure gambling, there's no edge that can be gained and we'll give the benefit of the doubt that there's nothing necessarily rigged against you. So at best, it should be 50% right around there. And now, of course, you need data points. So one or two trades isn't gonna uh, you know, display anything. But as you're gonna see here, I have way more than just one or two trades. And spoiler, I'm not anywhere close to 50%. So let's go to my uh, software here and show you um, and before I forget, this is TraderView that I'm, I'm uh, using. And if you're interested in them, uh, if you just go to, I'll put a link down below and you can check them out um, and you can get a discount. Fantastic piece of software. And as you're about to see, they do a great job of tracking data. So what we're looking at here is 22 days of data and why 22 days? Well, I've recently started uh, experimenting with SPX options. In fact, there's an entire podcast if you wanna go and listen about the details of why I'm doing it, what I'm doing and all that. Uh, but the, the, the core of that was just start slow, start small. So I've just begun and I have 22 days of data under my uh, belt here. And these are the results since I've started. So you can see right there, started in on 529 down there and now we're up here to 629. So. 22 days total of data, and overall, account growth. So that would be the first thing to consider. So under the premise that it's pure gambling, meaning at best, should be right around 50%, you should not see any sort of line that looks like that. If anything, it should be something that looks like this. Right, wrong, right, wrong, you know, right, 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 wrong, 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 right, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. You know, because it's just, it's just pure gambling. It's just 50%, you know, chance like a coin flip, but that's not what you saw there, right? You saw that line going up, but let's keep on moving. And then next we'll hop over here to just look at the calendar. And you can see right here that out of the past 22 days, only one red day on June 13th. I'll say that again, out of the past 22 trading days, only one losing day, June 13th. Again, if it was pure gambling, you would think that you'd see not exact, but pretty close to half green days, half red days but it wasn't anywhere close, literally. 22 days, only one losing day. So next, let's hop over here to the detailed details of things. And this is where things start to get very, very important because, okay, Clay, I mean, is this true? I mean, wh how many trades have even happened? And right here, so far, the total number of trades that have been made, 69. Now, is this a ton of trades? No, I'm not gonna say that, but is it at least enough to hopefully allow me to build some sort of premise that, things are maybe not pure gambling, that maybe there is some strategy? I think so. Now, maybe you're saying, no, it's gotta be at least 100 trades, and, and fair enough, uh, but I mean, hopefully we can agree that this is by no means like, 
I'm building a, a, a case based on three or four trades or 10 trades or, or anything like that. I mean, this is several trades. And then we go down here and you can see number of winning trades and number of losing trades. So right now I'm at 56 winning trades, 13 losing trades. And this is the key. This is the key. Way too many people think, oh, losing trade means losing day. Not at all. I've had lose 13 losing trades along the way, but yet I was still able to have a bunch of green days. Yeah, two words, risk management. Risk management, that's why I'm always preaching it on this channel because two times, like when I was a beginner, I thought, oh, losing trades mean I guess I'm gonna be right on the day. Well, no, that it doesn't have to mean that at all. If you're managing risk, you can have multiple losing uh, trades, but still have multiple winning days. And then maybe you already noticed this, but the winning trade, what's my percentage? 81.2%. <laughs> Again, if this is pure gambling, shouldn't that be a little bit closer to the 50% range if it's just flat out? I mean, can we agree on that? You know, and this goes to anybody that's telling you, oh, trading is just gambling. Okay, well, shouldn't these numbers be at least a little closer to 50%? Well, Clay, you're just getting extra lucky. Okay, fine. A am I getting that lucky though? Like really, and over the course of 69 trades, I've gotten this lucky for something that is pure gambling? I, I guess, again, to be fair, maybe, maybe. Or maybe I'm managing risk. Maybe I'm getting good entry points. Maybe I'm taking profits when I should. Maybe that's the case too. But you know, at the end of the day, you'll have to decide. Is it just pure? Uh, just I'm walking into luck? Or is there a little bit more to it? And then over here, you can see, which I think my, the stat I'm most proud of, average winning trade, $59.53. Average losing trade, $42.48, which is always good when your average winners are bigger than your average losers and when you are winning way more than what you are losing. So I think, and, and I hope that this is some good data for you to at least consider, okay, maybe it's maybe online day trading is not pure gambling. Maybe, maybe there is systems, maybe there are strategies that go behind it because if there weren't, then again, luck's not gonna really create this. And I started with it and I wanna end with it. A move like this. Past month, like I said, doing slow and small and I'm up $2,700. And I'm very pleased with that given the whole context of things in terms of a new product and just kind of figuring things out. But like I said, pure gambling, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you're gonna get a line that's looking like that. So I hope this helps. Again, if you want a little bit more context behind why I'm doing what I am in terms of what you just saw, uh, the Stock Trading Reality Podcast, you can go and I've done a, a recent episode on that that's titled, Am I Stupid? Uh, because I've had a couple of people say, what are you doing? This is stupid, you're stupid. So I, I've turned that into a learning lesson too. But you know, here was just another opportunity um, of, and I, like I said, I understand why people might think it's pure gambling. Uh, it, either you just don't understand what I'm doing or maybe, you, you've heard from somebody else that it's all just pure gambling and I hope this data, um, I, I realize it doesn't necessarily prove anything per se, but hopefully you can at least see the other side of things where you know maybe, maybe it's not pure gambling. Maybe there is systems and things like that that go into it, namely once more risk management. So I hope this helps, but in my opinion, these results suggest that no, day trading online is not quote unquote pure gambling. If you found this helpful, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and also let me know, have you ever heard of somebody tell you that, oh, you're a trader, oh, you're a gambler? Any good stories like that, definitely share those down below. So thanks for watching, hit that like button, leave a comment below. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, 
This becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.